Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about Blade and Soul S, which is basically the second mobile game that they're releasing. And it's in a very interesting art style that I really like. And I will definitely be checking out this game just because I really like the art style that the game's been created in. And obviously they've done a lot of fan service because where they're bringing back a lot of existing characters that people like and people love. And they're just kind of putting them in like a battle royale. I'm going to show you the trailer. Let me know of your thoughts in the comments below. But let's go. So we've got the Twilight's Edge, the best sword in the game. I love how they cut the music there. So you can see here that it's like a battle royale. It's like it looks like a 5v5 sort of thing. And you can just pick like your favorite characters and kind of make your own team. And you can see here that Zulia over here summons a Thrall. So now we know that Zulia is a warlock, apparently. Pretty cool. Master Hong can transform into his ultimate form. And of course we've got a uh, Poharan. Got some cool, cool action scenes here. This looks like a uh, Jin Soyeon's like five point strike or something. I don't know what Nam Soyeon does, but pretty funny. Boom. Yura can teleport to assassinate. <laughs> so cute. Boom. Flies away, see a nerd. And of course, Asura is here. Now, this looks like a raid boss. So they're looking at each other, they're like, Truce or do we fight? And then, you know, now we can get like a closer look at each character. I quite like how they've designed each character's look. I never really noticed. Was Zulia's eyes always like that? Was it always pink in the middle? Or is this just like for fan service? Master Hong. And Azulia's just like, Ding! We got this. Too bad Thrall just instantly dies. And now they start the fight against uh, Asura. This is new too. Apparently they can do their like super lightning charge up thing together. That's pretty cool. And that's it. Blade and Soul S. It reminds me a lot of World of Final Fantasy, if you guys ever played that. It's like that chibi art style where they kind of made everything like... They took the franchise and just like made everything chibi, everything cute, and just kind of built off a game off that. So I'm hoping that the game mechanics of this game will be fun and interesting, but I will definitely be checking out the game just because I like how cute the characters look. I just hope that it's not like ultra pay to win in order to get the characters that you want. You know, obviously I'd like Zulia, I'd like Poharan, Jin Soyeon, you know. I, I like those characters. And um, I just hope that they're not all going to be behind a gacha. I know for a fact that they will be in a gacha. But I just hope that they give us like, you know, one or two good characters. Don't, don't put all the good characters behind a gacha, right? But anyway, that's Blade and Soul S. So in the next video, I'll be covering Blade and Soul M, which is a more serious version of Blade and Soul. This one's obviously like the kawaii cute version, but this one is the one that really captivated me because it's a mobile game, right? On the mobile game, I don't want to invest too much time on it. I just like it to look cute, look fun, look interesting, and uh, eye candy. And that's what I'm looking for. So, you know, I will be giving this one a shot. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you did, I would appreciate a subscribe. It really does help out my channel. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome?